Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Outlast. You need a camcorder to navigate the darkness. But I have to navigate the darkness to get my camcorder back. Oh, I need to go down this way. God. Shush. Is that a file there? No. Just a bit of tat. Alright, need to find my camera. Of a battery. It, it's it's five miles. It's just random noises. Got nothing to worry about. Random noises. I can't see any other collectibles around here. Let's have a look. <laughs> just, just in case. Right. Just have a little wonder. Nothing in here. It's nice, no one's... I was just about to say, it's nice no one's attacking me while I don't have my camera. Very, very courteous. Woof! <laughs> Asshole. Shut that. Where am I going? This way. But it's surprisingly hard to see. Night vision's amazing when you have it. Don't do that, Miles. Can you not? It's my camera. Find a way to the third floor. Oh shit! Run. Fuck. Sit back here. Yes. <sighs> Assholes. Right. We're now back here. Oh good, now my camera's making random glitchy noises. Right, can't go through that. Right, sorry, had to eject the cats from the room. They were being annoying. Right, 
need to find a way of getting to the third floor. Can I climb back up there? Oh no, I have to go back up around this way, don't I? Stop it! No! That's not right! There we go. Uncle Festus gone. I'm not going to make that, am I? in action. Another bloody hole to jump. Follow the blood. Ah. Can I go through here? Let's just make sure. No. Right. Got a good amount of batteries now. Okay. Are you going to attack me? Only one way out. Only one way. I'm guessing it's this way. How do you know you're not patient? I, I know I'm not. I've I told your friend before not to try that mind fuck on mind fuckery on me. The hell. Right. Feeling a bit less stressed. I'm mean, still missing my fingers. Oh, this place looks a lot nicer than everywhere else. Get in! Ha <laughs> ha Screw you, fat man! I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> oh, God! That does not look right at all. I'm no doctor, but I think your neck might be fucked. Here, let me help with that. Does that help? Are you feeling better? Is there less pressure on your neck? If we go through there... Any batteries or files or anything? Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's a file. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernicke in his development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on theories developed in his brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. If I had not witnessed it myself, I would not believe it had happened, but beyond even the promise in cellular regeneration and guided cancer... cancer... Cancer or generation, cancer or regeneration, bloody hell, words. I believe Wernicke's method has breached the spiritual realm, something crossed from the, from the other side. I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition, briefly but undeniably so. Please forward my note and invitation to witness further experiments to Dirk Eckhart. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may need to be made aware of our discoveries. It is my opinion that Dr. Wernicke's successes represent an enormous opportunity for our cause and the German people, and are obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Regards to your family, signature Ill illegible. Ah! Well, isn't that lovely? This is where it all started, I believe. Yes, I'm supposed to tell you the key to the house of God is in the theater behind the light. In the theater behind the light, you have to see the movie. So that's where I left the car. Okay. Hey, I need your help. Where are you? Yes, coming. I'm coming. All right then. Okay. Oh, stop doing that camera. He's got nothing on him. Come now, Miles. You should kind of be used to this by now. Anything here? Batteries or anything? Doesn't look like it. Places to hide. That's always good. Hmm. Oh, it's the ladder. And I missed that. Hidey holes, excellent. Oh, beautiful. No? But your your playing was so good. Can't shut that door, it is broken. Can't do anything with this lot. Stop it. Why were the doors already pre torn down? I don't like that. Anything for me to collect around here? It doesn't look like it. Just get loaded up. Clearance 
Sierra Alpha, subject Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The fumes are here. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all, no trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... A proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. <laughs> Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Hmm. The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Vernike. Los Alamos means governmental work, government work. Vernike talks about spontaneous bleeding, tumours, psychosomatic reactions, insufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting, it gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Rostak, Rostak tests. I can't, I can't do words, <laughs> apparently, that, like, that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. All right. So Miles is losing his mind. No, god damn it, Miles. Alright, nothing in here. Follow the blood. Because that makes sense. Okay then, I will try and find Fernike. <laughs> Excuse me. Wash those hands regularly. No. Necrosizing facilities, really? I fucking quit. <laughs> oh, Jesus, stop! Flesh eating bacteria. Lovely! Any batteries, any files up here? No. Whoa! Well, oh, there is a battery. OK. 
Hey! Uh, okay, I see what's happened here. Uh, it's just making life more complicated for me. Thank you. Alright, got the key. Oh, now this door's open. Head back now. Not this way. Back through here. Goddamn Chris Walker's back. Is he? Or is it the twins? I think it might be the twins. I'm just going to leave them to it. Oh, hello. Did you miss me? Fuck you, dude. It was the twins. Hey! God, why is everyone being so mean? over here first. No. Fair enough. Okay. Alright, nothing in here. So battery. Thank you, yes. Any files or anything? Okay. All right, pray into static. I'm, I'm not here to, I'm not judging. You do you. God, I thought I saw someone there for a second. Okay. Everyone's now praying. Not a good sign. Ironically. That's 
that's where I came through. Do you have any batteries or files in here, either of you? No? Room inspection! Do you have any contraband, anything you shouldn't have? No? Okay, you're clean. What about you? No? What about you, sir? Do you have anything in your room that you shouldn't have? No, you're looking good. Hey! What's this? How many times have I told you you're not supposed to have this? What does it say? I am an unworthy, unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, War Rider. Let my shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with his lies for a greater truth. Your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wraith. My blood is filled with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Huh. Use one battery, pick another up. Alright, just check it on you. Alright. Your friend in room 329 has let the side down. He had contraband. Do better. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Now this is where I came through. Did I miss something in one of these rooms? Ah! Alright, no, not supposed to go out the window. I have a feeling I missed something. Hmm, perplexing. Have I gone the wrong way? Is that what's happened here? Ah! I was supposed to go out the window. Just along one of the ledges. Hi, room inspection. God hates sickness. Are you sure about that? He seems pretty keen on it in some cases. Oh, excuse me. God hates money. Again, questionable.
God always provides. Uh huh. Oh, hi, chaps. Are you behaving yourselves now? Sure about that? Now, my son. Lovely. What did I have to say about that? Nothing was in the other one. The Passion of Father Martin. I can't believe Father Martin won up Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die, and I don't believe I'm going to miss him. A way out? If he's telling the truth now, I've got a way out. And a story to tell. He wants me to spread his gospel. I'll tell the whole fucking world. Yeah. Alright. Well, see you later, F Uncle Fester. Wait, is there another way out? I don't really want to deal with the twins. Thank you, boys. It's been a pleasure. However, I will be keeping my tongue and my liver. Have fun. You fruit cakes. Oh God, no. Could hear him. So you come in one of these doors. There he is. Bye, Fanny. I think this is the right way. Yes. There we go this way. And yes. Perfect. Freedom. Yes. Salvation. Oh. Of course not.
I'm recording everything. Find another way out. Yay! Well, we've crossed into uh, fucking Narnia. And we'll have to find out what happens next in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.